Hey, how's it going? Hope you're doing great. Let me go ahead and have those colors running down below and explain what I got going on here. Of course, I'll have a list in the description with the color paint and mediums that I'm using. But I um, went ahead and I have an 18 by 24 inch canvas. Went ahead and applied some clear medium actually. And then from here on up, I just tapped in a little bit of this titanium weight because it is a clear medium. I just need some weight for, for this guy. And there you go. And I hope you're hope you're doing really well on your side over there. I'm doing great over here. I thought today we'd do something absolutely beautiful and wonderful. And uh, let's go ahead and rock and roll. We'll rock out with that brush out and feel good about ourselves and and stick it on this canvas. So let's go ahead and start out with some Indian yellow. I'll go ahead and pull some out, tap some in. And I think we'll go ahead and start right about here. Right about here, and then there you go, just like that. And I'm just doing the X's, the X's right on, right on over. There we go. So we got that nice, beautiful Indian yellow. I'm just gonna go ahead and tap in a little bit, a little bit more. And I'll work my way over here, and there you go, just like this. And I'll, let's go ahead and tap into into our alizarin. Something like so. And as you can tell, we put that nice tape around, so at the very end we'll go ahead and pull that off and give us a nice, nice looking border there. There we go. I'm going to have a little bit of an issue with the blending because I don't have much white pigment in the sky. So, but we, we'll have, we always have these, we always have hairs. There we go. Just remember, if you're using natural bristles for your brushes, you're going to, you're going to have hairs. Let's go ahead and put some yellow on here and put some of that crimson. There you go. Just a nice colorful looking sky. We get a, I get a lot of these skies where I'm at. I'm lucky I get a, I live in Florida so I do get to see sunrises and sunsets so I get to see some beautiful beautiful colors in the sky. I have not been out west though. I hear that like Arizona, New Mexico, stuff like that's where it's at where it comes with the uh, with the sky colors. So I'll have to make it out there sometime. I got a buddy that lives out in New Mexico that absolutely loves it out there. Let me see. I think that should be should be alright. I'm just gonna go ahead and just kind of blend. There we go. Maybe a little bit, a little bit darker up here. There we go. There we go. Something like that. Right. Let me put this down. I'm going to grab a fan brush. I'll just go with the number six. And I'm just going to go ahead and actually, I think I'll just pick up that two inch brush and let's go ahead and mix a little bit of color here. I'm just going to tap into some of this crimson and then there we go. Just like that, maybe a touch of the blue right over here. And that's gonna be a little, a little too dark. There we go. There 
There we go. And I'm just going to sit here and kind of blend it out. It's a little too dark, but I'm going to go ahead with some white and go over and make them make some nice looking clouds. There we go. And then I'm going to do the same thing here. Just doing the X's and kind of blending it. There we go. I'm going to put this down now. I'll grab that fan brush. And I'll just start right here. I'm just going to crunch in. Like that. I don't, I don't know if you can see. You just crunch and kind of just swirl it all around. And then a little bit as well right here. There we go. Just like that. back with the two inch brush and we get those little hairs there we go and just underneath the cloud I'm just go ahead and just blend that out and fluff it if you like blend it and same thing here under that cloud that we have a beautiful sky working hope you're doing great on your side and feeling good let's go ahead and use that palette knife we'll go ahead and mix up a little bit of color I'm just going to take some white for now just put it I'll just put it right here all right so we'll take some crimson or the pink stuff and a touch of that touch of that blue there And let's add a little bit of the white. And we'll add a little bit more of that blue into there. Okay. And a touch of this black. All right, so we have this nice color right there working. I'm gonna go ahead and add the white. There we go. I want something like, like that right there, okay? Night. I'm gonna go ahead and use my my filbert brush. I'm gonna go ahead and load up into here. And I'm gonna start putting in. I'm gonna start putting in some nice little mountains back here. Something like so, and just like that. something there we go you know something like that there we go all right let me go ahead and I'm gonna grab this brush right here the number two and I'm gonna go I'll just tap in a little bit of this white, a little bit of this white, just down here at the bottom. Remember, I don't have any white pigment on here. Usually we have that white medium, so. But there you go. Just something like that. I'm going to put this down. I'll grab that filbert brush. Oops, excuse me. Painted right next to a wall, so I always hit it, but 
grab some, yourself some white paint and just come on. Something like so. What was it? There we go. Here. Same thing. There we go. And maybe just just a touch of the, that darker stuff right in here. Just a touch of it. There we go. All right, there we go. Let's go ahead and use that filbert brush as well. And I'm going to go into my black. And I'm going to go into some of the brown. So probably 50-50. About 50-50, black and brown. Okay. And maybe just a, just a touch of that white in there. And I just want to use this. and Okay, let's start right here. And start putting in like a, kind of like a line. Like so. There we go. And then just come in and color that in. And it's all right. You can leave it rough, and it's all right. Just come in and try to scrub this. just because it's going to take forever using this guy. We use the one inch brush. There we go. There we go. Just remember this, you know, just do the best you can. This part's a little, little different. I'm gonna scrub this in, and I made sure not to put too too much of the medium down down below. Very very light. So when I use that uh, Brandon Thomas medium, the uh, smooth flowing, it's very it's very loose. So you got to put a small small amount. Okay. All right. So we got something like so. Let's go ahead and. Tap in a straight sap green. And same thing. We're just blocking in right now. Just blocking this in. And let's go ahead into some straight black. I'm just trying to make sure not to go too, too far past the tape here. Here, here. Yeah. 
There we go. Don't let this alarm you. We're just blocking in. inch I'll go into some of my white here always got hairs there we go and then just Use that palette knife. Let's go ahead and grab a little bit of this, some of this umber. We'll put it right there. We'll just get rid of this stuff right here. We don't need it. All right, so we got some umber there. I'm going to add a little bit of my yellow ochre and some of this white. Maybe a little bit more white into that. There we go. I'm going to go ahead and load this up using my filbert. Now let's get up here. Okay, I'm just going to come over here. I'll just start doing some stuff. It's going to come in. And... There we go. Maybe something like this. Tap here, there. Maybe something right here. There we go. Let's go ahead. I'm going to clean this off real quick. I'm going to go into some of my sap green, and I'm going to start start putting in some, some trees. Tap, it'll go straight down, it don't matter. Just indication that there's some trees. Let's go ahead and grab some white. There we go. This way it sticks out a little bit. There you go. Go into here as well, once again. Maybe a little bit of that yellow ochre. Let's find another spot, man. Right there. Don't have to be perfect. We'll go ahead and put a little bit of dark in here. There we go. Maybe just a touch of that white. There we go. Let's go ahead and maybe we'll have something right there. Let's go ahead and add some. here. Just some background stuff for right now. Doesn't have to be too, too perfect, you know, just something that, you know, you know, and you know that there's some trees there.
there we go. Wherever you think it'd be, it's perfect. That's perfect. There we go. There we go. Something like that. All different types of textures and stuff like that. Different trees. Something like that. I'm doing a little little white and some of that green color just so it stick out. There we go. Maybe. Something like that. Let's go ahead and put a nice big old Big old, nice, big old, <laughs> good old, nice old, big old, big old tree. Old. <laughs> Anyways, let's do a little black. I'll put it right here. It's fine. And some of the green. So black and some green. Nice, good old pile there. Good old, good old, good old pile. And I'll just use the same brush. Just make sure you chisel it, wiggle, wiggle, okay? And then we'll just come in and just start putting in. Here we go, something like so. And I'm just gonna just touch, touch, touch. All these wonderful, wonderful branches right there. Something like so. And let's put another one right there. And same thing, just touch. I'm just using the side to start out. And then as I'm going down, I'll start to angle it over. And then there you go. There you go. And then if you need to, always reload. If you don't feel good about it, just reload it. And we'll just do something like so. Let's just do another one right there, just because I just think it will look good. We'll put this guy right, right there. And then, same thing. There you go, just like that. And let's find some, some more places that we can put one of these, one or two of these. Let's do something right here. There we go. And then same thing on the side. Just gotta remember it's there. Let me highlight because it's nice and nice in that corner there. And eh, maybe one right here. Got a little hair. And same thing. Just gonna darken this up a little bit. Something like that. There we go. I'm gonna go ahead and put this down. I'm going to grab my two inch brush and I'm going to tap into into my yellow here, crunch it in and then there we go. 
There we go. And I'm gonna add a little bit, a little bit of my white medium to it because it's just not, not sticking so lovely. Well, we'll make it stick lovely, right? So same thing. Pull it down. And there we go. See the difference? Remember, if it's not sticking, go back and make it stick. By adding just a little bit of your medium, drip at a time. And then it'll stick. Same thing over here. There we go. And then let's go ahead, I guess, and let's put something over here. Excuse me one second. Let's grab my knife. And I'll just use this dark color. Go ahead and just put something. Just like that. And just push that, push that right in. And I'll take, eh, I'll take some of this white. I'll just mix it with this color right here, and it'll give me a nice, a nice little grayish color. There you go. And we'll come in. And we'll put in put in some rocks. There we go. Clean the knife, put that down. I'll go right back into this color. We will go back and highlight the uh, the pine trees, but I just want to get this for right now. So I'm just coming in and Putting in different textures here. Add a little bit of the white and some of that medium. Might be a little too much medium there. There we go. the yellow. I think I'll come down, grab a little bit of that medium, dog paw it like so. Just come in and just, yeah, not enough medium. There we go. Nice little bush in there. Let's go ahead and go ahead and clean this real quick. 
gonna wipe it off. I'm gonna go into to my green and into this yellow. And I'm gonna add a little bit of the a little bit of the medium, kind of loosen it up. And let's come in and we'll start to highlight. Just come in and touch, 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 touch. And there we go. And the one thing I forgot to do was put in a little bit of some tree trunks. So we have this brown color right here. Grab a little bit, and I'll just pop that there. And we have a little little guy right there. There we go. Oh, that's a little too thick. We'll try to work around it. There we go. Back into the medium. There we go. Touch, 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 touch. There we go. Remember, I always leave it kind of dark at the bottom so you have some kind of contrast between the light and the dark. There we go. Let's go ahead and try to get these little guys that are over here. There we go. We got this guy here. Just want to just grab a little sand brush. Just add a little dark color into here. Something like so. And then I'll come back. And then same thing. There we go, something like so. Let's go ahead and I'll wipe this down a little bit. I'm gonna go into some of this yellow ochre. I'm gonna grab a little bit more of that medium. I just wanna add some. A little bit of yellow, yellow ochre here and there. So, let me go ahead and put this down. I'm going to grab a one inch brush. I just want to get some highlights going. Go to my medium again. So I'm going to go into my yellow ochre. Uh, it's not thinning out. Give me a second here. want to put some stuff right there something right there tape them just using the straight yellow ochre with a little bit of the medium Out again. Maybe something right here. Maybe something right there. 
Just trying to find a couple little spots here or there for this. There we go. Something like that. Let's go ahead and just a little bit of the ochre in there. Some of the green and the yellow. And there we go. I'm going to put this down. I'm going to grab another one inch brush. Go into a little, little bit of the white medium again. Going back into the white here. spots here there just using the corner of the of the brush here just want to cut a couple little wildflowers there we go something like that There we go. Not too much, man, or it's going to overdo it. I'm just going to tap in here. Just want to. There we go. Just a little extra something there. like that right here there we go and I'm just going to take a little bit just want to rub some of that out just want to Trying to get some separation here. There we go. different shadows, different textures. We're actually almost done here. Add a little bit of what yellow. I think that's good. Yeah, I'm just gonna just crunch in some of the dark. I just want some shadows. That's ah, a little too too much. Let me wipe some off. There we go. There we go. A little extra depth, I guess you can say. Just so add in a little dark, kind of tap in. There we go. All right, let's go ahead and just use a liner brush real quick and we'll we'll call it a day. Let's go ahead, I'm just gonna dip into, into some of the white medium here. I'll put it right here. And 
just want a couple couple little white twiggy white little twiggies. Remember just spin it, spin it, and pull it down to the point. There we go. Just a couple little spots here there. Long grasses. We'll go ahead and we'll use some of the uh, paint thinner here, and I'll go into let's go into my black. Just find a couple spots that you like it, and it'll be perfect. Nice long, long grasses. There we go. Something like that. Just go into let's go into this stuff right here. Yeah, I need to thin it out a little bit more. Use that paint thinner. There we go. There's a couple of spots here. There. there we go. And with that, go into this stuff right here. And let's go ahead and sign it. Remember, it should slide right on over. Just have to have that paint nice and thin. Here we go. Well, we went ahead and completed today's project. I hope you enjoyed every bit of it. I enjoyed painting it. And remember, if you if you liked everything, please hit that subscribe button. It is free, of course, to you to subscribe and support the channel. And until next painting, until next time, please take care, stay safe, and bye-bye.